it's okay. We, um, I have a, a, a turbo pump here, and um, uh, I want to do a test run and show you how uh, what I have for a pump here, because it's the pump and the generator. Um, <laughs> it's a turbo, a turbo pump. It's uh, about 165 gallons per minute. And I just wanted to show you, this is a 20 gallon drum water, filled it up. I just want to show you how, um, what kind of pressure that I needed for the, the old generator. So I'm giving you a little test run here. Alrighty, nobody's filming, so the camera's just hanging out there. So, okay, put this in here. I'm gonna plug myself in over here. I got gloves on, or boots, okay. I can get zapped here, but okay, here it goes. All right. Okay. All right. If you can see that. There it goes. That's the pump I'm using. Uh, 165 gallons per minute. You just seen about 20 gallons go through what five, six, seven, eight seconds. I don't know. Anyways, and I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna set up the pump into the generator and the machine, and we'll take uh, another step after that. Okay, if you everything's fine, uh, we're recording. Then. Um, I put the pump inside the chamber here. It's, it's rigged up so it will hit against this water wheel, the paddles, whatever. <clears throat> against the big fly, the big fly wheel I have 18 inch. I've already gone through plenty of these and down to a four inch that I've gone from four to eight. So anyways, um, we, we got this lined up so it hits, it hits against here. Um, it's going to give the electricity we need, and I'm going to show you how um, the theory is wrong, and uh, this will run on its own. We've already tested it uh, three or four times. It's worked. Um, this is the third try today. Let's hope this one works, where I unplug it and hear that quick, and we can just continue on here. So I'm going to do a quickie from here to here. Here, from here to here. Okay, should take only a second. If I can do it in a, in a second or two, uh, she'll stay going. With the momentum that that gives from the pump, she'll, she'll draw right off there. Okay, so, all right, here we go. We're gonna try it again. This is the third time. Okay, here it goes. Okay, okay, if I could hear, I'm leaking all over the place. That's why I got rubbers on, I got rubber underneath, I, I, I could still get fried, but okay. Let me make sure this is ready here, from here to here, here to here, here to here, okay. Alright, here goes.
And he just makes the up jump off the next turn where he can't keep going on this. There's the power from the house. Out of here. It's running on its own. Alright. The pump is going on the generator. Forcing that wheel to turn it. There we go. Check this out. I got nothing here to stop this. This machine is running on its own right now. Better close. Yeah, I'm just showing you the machine. It's uh, drained out. Water's taken out. There's the pump with the paddle, water wheel. Goes down the shaft onto a belt drive. And the, the belt goes down to the uh, smaller belt drive that hooks to the generator. And uh, I went through quite a few different sizes to get what I needed. So, and the generator itself um, was rebuilt. I had to send it out to a friend of mine that works on generators, and he did the coil all over. Drilled a couple dozen holes into it, and, and um, plus he changed the bearings in that. Put some uh, free falling bearings in the generator. Added a couple of capacitors, and came up with the old what we needed. So basically, it's a simple thing. Um, the pressure I needed for the pump. You know, against the, uh, the paddle and down to the shaft, down to the uh, other one, and uh, to the generator. So basically, that's it. And, um, and then the light electricity here, and that's about it. So that's that's the whole thing together here.